Ceremony and dance in just a moment as soon as they arrive. Um, so at this time, I'd like to ask if anybody in the audience would like to take a moment to share something, a story, your, why you're here, why you think it's important. Do not be shy. There's no judgment here. I know some people do not have uh, public speaking. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. And I see a sign that addresses that question as well. Why no media coverage? Does anybody know? This is Selma. Like behind you. Like behind you. No, I don't mean for this. Oh, okay. I mean this has not been covered nationally. I read the Times every day. It took months for it to appear in the Times. This is a Selma. This is a Stonewall. Yeah. It should have been on the front page of newspapers. Well, Does anybody know why? I, I have my theory. <laughs> uh, and I will share my theory. Um, indigenous people have been treated uh, poorly. Uh, for hundreds of years. They have not been respected. They have not been given um, that every treaty that has ever been signed has been essentially been broken. They still live in conditions in some of the on reservations, which we call death camps. Um, uh, they live in uh, conditions that people would find deplorable, uh, areas with no running water, no electricity, uh, basic, well, maybe not electricity, but uh, um, but water, running water, sewer, things of that nature, basic needs of life for life. Uh, they've been, uh, they constantly have their land taken away, uh, things of that nature, uh, and they are treated less, actually less than human. Uh, so when something is impact, impacts the way they live and they're on their sacred lands, um, it's, it's, it's not deemed as important, it's not deemed as newsworthy as other issues are. Now, there are some media outlets, obviously, that will do have covered it, but it certainly has not gotten the exposure until recently that it should have has been getting. And the same could be said to for the Sable Trail Pipeline, which is going from, you know, which is going to impact Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. It goes from the Georgia line all the way down to Orlando. It is impacting some of our Flor Floridians' indigenous lands, um, but it's not getting the recognition, the attention. Um, and the coverage that it deserves either. I'm not really sure why, um, other than the fact that indigenous first people are treated so poorly, I don't know why else it would not be getting the coverage because it is an issue that um, is a human justice issue, um, an environmental issue, public health issue, property rights issue. So across the board, it affects so many people in so many different ways. Um, it's People just need to be more vocal and standing up for each other. It's not a black or a white issue, which is race, you know, racially charged right now, BLM and all so forth. It's a red issue. It's a native issue. So they're not, not the media, none of the mainstream media will play. If I can, I can tell you, BP budgeted for it, and I can tell you that it was probably in their budget to pay off the media, honestly. We went through it with BP, we know. They bought, yeah. they, they bought the searches on Google. Um, and I'm sure that media was paid off. They did this knowing that it would cost them. They prepared for this. They didn't prepare for us, but they prepared for that. <laughs> Patricia. 